Hello, I'm Thomas Williams and my piece Kummeltustion 2 Riot Suite has been nominated for an Ivan Novello Award in the Jazz Ensemble category at the Ivers Composers Awards 2022. The piece is uh, seven movements and it lasts about an hour to perform. There's plenty of room for improvisation as well as some written elements, of course. The title Kummeltustion is derived from a poem by the great Welsh poet Wilder Williams. And the English subtitle for this one is Riot, since many of the movements, the titles of the movements are riots in Welsh history, some more well-known than others. And Mirtha Rising is quite well-known, whereas the Tredega riots are less well-known. So I'm, the idea in this work is to raise issues of Welsh identity, uh, which is what Wilder was doing in his poem, which inspires the title Comultustion, which means cloud of witnesses. Uh, he raises question, existential questions about Welsh identity and nationalism. So I felt it was important to write a work of this type at this time. And um, there were two extremely influential pieces of work that I listened to in the last few years, which really inspired me towards this. Um, were Dada Leo Smith's uh, Ten Freedom Summers, which is a totemic work, an incredible piece of work. And also Matana Roberts' Coin Coin project. I really love the idea that she's on an ongoing mission of um, discovery of, of, of her identity. So those are two key inspirations for me when I was writing this music and that combination of written music and complete freedom, if you like, or as much freedom as you can find. For this Kumultustion 2, I did a first Kumultustion uh, back in 2019 using Welsh, uh, Welsh musicians. But for this iteration, I wanted to expand it a bit. So I handpicked a band. I contacted some tremendous musicians and I was extremely pleased that they were willing to do it. So the band consisted of um, Orphie Robinson on vibes, Soweto Kinch on saxophone and rap, Edith Crawford, a young Welsh vocalist, Aidan Thorne on bass and Mark O'Connor on drums, two Welsh musicians who I use in my own bands, Birim and Kamira, and also Simon Prophet as a live visual. So we had a screen behind us as we played and the visuals interacted with the music, which is an important element of the every live performance. And then myself on trumpet, and I composed the music and, and led the band, I guess. But with musicians of that calibre, I saw my role more as a navigator almost. So I would plot the moods of the piece and then every musician brought their incredible personality and ability to the music. I felt it was very important to have some Welsh language in this project, which is why Edith Crawford was involved, a great young vocalist. And there's quite a few Welsh folk melodies. Um, it starts and finishes with a Derin D, the blackbird. There's a Welsh melody called Dyffryn Cletur in there, as well as Si Hoi Hoi and Castell Trosallan. So I really felt it was quite important to have that Welsh language in the mix for this work. And the idea was to raise issues about riots in Welsh history, but then also slightly more uncomfortable issues like the Cardiff Rhys riots of 1919, a movement where Soweto raps. And then we we'll finish off with um, a paean to Mahmoud Matan, who was the last man to be executed in Wales. And he was later found to be not guilty. So it's a political work and it's a deliberately political work, raising questions of... Now Welsh identity, nationalism, who we are, Pabeth Udin, again, as, as Waldo asks in his tremendous poem. So it's all based on bringing things together uh, as, a, as art and, and wondering and, and raising questions. Um, there are no answers, but there are plenty of questions. And of course, I'd like to thank T. Kerth, who uh, funded the composition of this work, and the Arts Council of Wales, who funded the tour we toured Wales in November last year. And finally, I'd like to thank the Ivers, of course, for the nomination, and I look forward to the event in November. But um, thank you very much. Diolch